Oh, there comes another one. Yes! Welcome back to Eat with Oscar, where you and I make memories across Canada, one meal at a time. The beautiful coastline and an array of trendy food spots make White Rock one of the busiest tourist destinations in British Columbia. In today's video, you will see a glint of the radiant ocean and my dining experience at one of the 18 restaurants. Before I jump into the topic today, I want to give a huge shout out to Ben Lee for reaching out and providing me with some constructive suggestions to help me become a better content creator. In addition to Ben, I also want to thank Elvin for letting me know that what I'm doing here provides practical insights and value to my viewers. Drop me a line after you move back to BC, Elvin. I would love to meet you in person and take you out for dinner. It is only with the support from Ben, Elvin, and viewers such as yourself my videos have been viewed over 3,000 times in just 4 weeks. A big thank you to everyone watching this right now. If you want to be featured in my next video, simply click the like button and leave me a comment below. Okay, enough said. I am starving. Let's take a look at our lunch at the 5 Kitchen and Raw Oyster Bar. We started lunch with a dozen of raw oysters, including Royal Miyagi, Kushi, and Kisu. All three types of oysters are locally farmed and distributed from and around the coast of British Columbia. Royal Miyagi oysters are Pacific Northwest oysters from Sunshine Coast. The size is quite tiny and flat. It has a smooth texture with a briny savory finish. Best to go with shredded horseradish. Cushy oysters are also a Pacific Northwest oyster from Deep Bay. If I must rank the three oysters, Cushy would top my list. I prefer oysters that has a meaty chew with a clean, bright, and delicate flavor. Cushy matches the profile, plus it is perfectly bite-sized, slightly creamy and sweet in flavor. Great with just a few drops of Tabasco hot sauce. Lastly, Kisu oysters. You guessed it right, they are also a Pacific Northwest oyster. These oysters are from Buckley Bay, Vancouver Island. It has a sweet, fresh fruit taste and a juicy finish. I find Kushi plumber and meatier than Kisu, so I'm still giving the crown to the Kushi oyster. Do you notice one thing? Despite the oysters being farmed locally in British Columbia, don't Royal Miyagi, Kushi, and Kisu sound Japanese? Well, it's because they are originally from Japan. Olympia oyster was the only native oyster to British Columbia. However, the over-exploitation, habitat alteration, and pollution stemming from the gold rush in late 1800s have wiped out the entire Olympia oyster species. The cold, crisp waters of the British Columbia coastline provide the ideal location to grow some of the highest quality shellfish found on menus around the world. Between 1913 and World War II, many oysters were brought to the province to be cultured. Now, let's dig in. We also ordered their Garlic Lover's Caesar Salad, New York Cheddar Bacon Burger, and Clam and Mussel Pot. After lunch, we walked along the waterfront and the longest pier in Canada. Then, we made a quick stop at the newly opened Zen Tea House to rehydrate ourselves. We ordered their tea lemonade and cold flower tea. Super refreshing! This video probably provides less than one-tenth of what White Rock provides. If you live in the Lower Mainland or will be visiting British Columbia between June and October, Make sure you save half a day to visit this pretty seaside city, especially if the day is sunny. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel, Eat with Oscar, so you won't miss any new food and travel video from me. Check the mic and make sure it sound right, boys. See you in my next video. Bye.